At least because I died, I can get some ammo. Or not really ammo, but like money. Extra money from being over here, too. Oh. Whatever gets the job done. A bolt I may or may not use, ever. We'll see. I don't think I was ever down here. And I guess it doesn't matter. Scum of the earth! <laughs> the deed is done. I should talk to the Totem of Souls again. With the range upgrade, this gra this bow actually becomes far more insane. It's just a sniper at this point. Hellish spawn. Like the only downside to this thing is, I guess, projectile time and the fact that it makes me bleed like a smidge. But with all the other upgrades we've got, it doesn't even matter. Get to the bridge. I lay thee to rest. Uh, did the dogs respawn? There's one. And that's all I need. Led you astray. <laughs> All right, let's head back. Brave yourself. You have anything new? No, okay. What kind of deal you have? I'll buy this nitro ammo too, just in just in case you know the next chapter comes along and we don't have anybody to purchase this stuff from. You won't find somebody with my... Okay, maybe I just give it to the totem. You're back and you did what we asked. Good. Now relax a little while and we shall do the rest. Thank you. Yay. My stamina is back up. Every place we visit has a different flow of energy, like a signature. Spirits are bound to those movements, following it like a thirsty man seeks out storm clouds on the horizon. Damn, I didn't listen to that one. Alright, well, I know how to defeat this evil! He told you, or did you have to break his skull and twist the answer directly from his rotten brain? Never mind, this is of no importance. Hey, he told me pretty readily. Since you already talked, you must know what to do. Do as he instructed, and bring the beast down to its knees. Okay, oh wait, you know what? I need the angel halo. Whoop! Whoop! I've got all the items! Nice iron you got there. Almost as good as my six-pounder. Can I have your gun? Anyway, look, I have everything ready for the ritual. Excellent. Your hunt will begin very soon. You want to take a few steps back? This fight can be quite tricky. While we have done the vast majority of work back then, 
some issues still may arise. I get it. You know, I have a little bit of caution. <laughs> I've done it. The bastard will bleed now. Oh, this felt good. Almost as good as killing that thing. But this pleasure is all yours. Thanks, Undead. While you were busy, I took my time to place some traps on the giant's path. Shoot them and fire up the flames. Fire will hurt the giant, weakening it, making it mortal. And what is mortal can die. Then... Just shoot it in the head, or chop at its legs. Whatever will work as its regeneration power will be useless. Happy hunting. Thanks, oh, friend. One more thing. When all is done and dust starts to settle, come and find me. What I will have to say then, let's say it will be very interesting. Now go. Hunt awaits you. Sweet. All right, time to face the giant. I'm gonna go ahead and just pop this. All right. That means I can sell the uh, rest of I'm this. So tired. You can have these, 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 and these gold nuggets. All right, this is a go loud kind of situation. So that means I need to equip my guns. So we're gonna do ahead. We're gonna start off the fight with this. I'm also, I'm gonna swap. I'm, 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 I need my timepiece. Uh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> if I'm gonna fight a boss, I do, in fact, want to be able to, like, pause and consider my next actions. Uh, since swapping things in this game can be such a pain in the ass sometimes. Okay. So we'll start off the fight with... the buffalo rifle. And then I'll keep it going with the Rattler. Maybe I'll run up and shoot its legs, but we'll... We'll see what ends up happening, because, uh... I'm sure it'll summon many other things to try and stop me. And at that point... I might have swapped up my tactics. Now, when he says he set up traps, I wonder what the fuck I should be looking out for. I should talk to the tree man real quick. Tree man! Tree man! Tree man? Where did tree man go? He was just chilling around the tree, right? The giant tree. Okay, I see that looks like it could be one of the traps. Do I have to like press the button on it or do I shoot them? I should have brought some potions. Like speed potions. Although the speed item is like alcohol. Bang, 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 bang. Burn! That didn't set it on fire. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Oh, 
Oh no, and I didn't bring any other Molotovs. Hey, tentacles, I'm gonna move it on, all right? I don't like that. Ouchies. Fuck off! Acid tentacles! Son of a bitch. All right, I gotta go fucking grab some Molotovs. I wish he had told me to do that rather than just be like, oh yeah, you just. I set up some traps. He didn't tell me I gotta bring my own fucking fire for it. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, all right. Oh, God, I really have fucked up. I didn't even bring a teleport thing. Son of a bitch. Well, that music drops off so suddenly. <laughs> uh. All righty. I'm gonna grab all the Molotovs, I guess. One, two. Three, four, five. Fuck it. We're just grabbing all of them. Because I didn't see any other way to light that thing up. All right. Uh, anything else I want to bring? A couple of raven skulls in case things go really poorly. Maybe use a whetstone just in case. I'll have to have a. Uh, okay. You have to have a melee weapon equipped to use the whetstone. That makes a level of sense. Does that. Wait, hold on. If I use a whetstone. While I have. Uh, two weapons equipped, do the, do the. Does the bonus stay on them? Is my. My wonder. It only went to my secondary weapon. Nor that only shows on the secondary weapon. Or it only goes on to one of your things, which is fine. I'll unequip this just in case. Uh, is that how it works? The one that you have actually out? Gotcha. Okay. Good to learn. Not gonna be using it during this fight, but that's fine. Ooh, I do wonder, can I use a whetstone on the tomahawk? Probably, right? It's got a melee swing. Does it get affected, though, when I throw it? Hmm. The answer is no, it doesn't. Okay. Good to know. All right. Let me get my revolver reequipped. Uh, I probably should bring a few regular potions as well. These aren't regular potions, but like, you know, 
while I'm here. These would be very useful when I'm fighting for my life. Alright, I think that's everything I care for because all the other stuff is not relevant for fighting a boss. Okay. Little sad town. Mm, I can do a rest right now. All right, let's try this again. Now I'm using this for the tentacles. Although I guess I don't know if I'll fully need it. I don't know how long the fire lasts on these things. So I'll light it up as it's getting near. And in that case, I'll also do this. I'm gonna <laughs> the thing I'm gonna do is equip my buffalo rifle. Uh, okay, yeah, we did that. Good, good, good. All right. Fire in the hole! Ooh, blue fire! First giant takes 10% more damage. I'm gonna equip a nitro ammo because I think things are about to change dramatically. All right, fire! That didn't do anything about what I wanted. Damn, though, that seemed to do quite a lot. I appreciate it. Excuse me, I gotta reload. It takes me a second, so, like, if you don't... If you could, like, not fire at me, that would be swell. Uh-oh. Is it no longer on fire? It. You're fucking kidding me! No! Oh wait, okay, it's still taking damage, it's still taking damage. Okay. Well, that really wasn't too bad. It was just headshot the thing over and over and over again. And I appreciate that they learned their lesson for from chapter one, at least 
Seems like they did. I don't like getting yoinked out of a chapter just because I beat a boss fight. So I appreciate that rather than, oh, you killed the boss, instant, instantly you're done. It seems like I can just go talk with the undead and then that might be the chapter end. <gasps> oh! You're something else, you know that? Killing that thing. <laughs> How do you find so much strength in resolving yourself? Well, you know, when you've got a hundred plus ammo on standby, you, you feel a little bit more confident. I guess you'll soon depart, right? I'm sure wherever you will go, you will prevail against any enemy. And hey, I'm happy I was able to meet you. I'm happy I was able to meet you too, Annabelle. Thank you for all the help. I'm gonna go ahead and buy one of these again, just in case. Don't know what what kind of things we'll run into in the next chapter. Uh, and I so <laughs> maybe I grab the hell the hat. That headshots regenerates five HP. Could be really fucking fantastic if I'm like fighting for my life. And I've pulled out one of my revolvers, which seem to be really, really effective. I'll do it. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. Now I just have to hope that I don't end up regretting it. Alright. <laughs> Speaking of regret, I didn't really need to bring out, out these many uh, Molotovs. I just didn't know how that fight was going to go. Alright. Kid, I've banished the great evil. Things will be fine here soon. Big bad gun? You killed it? You're strong. Almost as strong as my father. Yeah. What will you do now? Or or will you go hunt bigger prey? I, I truly don't know, but we'll see. I, I've got evil to banish from these lands. Fine work. Fine work indeed. You have proven yourself useful once more. Now, we need to sense the changes in the flow of the essence. Where do spirits go, and what they moan about? Yes, we need time, and time is our ally. Fruits of our labor shall be bountiful. Still here? You're free to go for now. Or do you need anything? If not, leave us to our thoughts. Oh, I died. A blessing. You got the gold. We can do many things, but you. Okay, hold up. I don't need. I don't need a blessing right now. Can you tell me about the undead? Time work. Mm. We managed to reconstruct much of his body, thanks mostly to that skull you found. Essence was strong. As for himself, he may still be of use. It depends on how easy it is to manipulate him. Alright. Well, what did you need from me, friend? That was a real nice job, pal. Wouldn't have done it better myself. Now, listen up. I've got a plan that will help us both escape. Escape from the service of the totem? We must act quickly before Totem of Souls realizes what is going on. For a while, it will be drunk with success, but that moment won't last long. I want to get out of here and out of that Totem's influence. It makes me sick in my bones. If I were you, I wouldn't trust it either. I know of a passage into the mountains, my old stomping grounds. We can hide in there easily. Free and mighty like no one else. So, are you ready? Mm, screw it. Send us out there. No loose ends. That's how I do my business. The giant bastard that was my bane, dead. The double crossing ex partner who had me cut to pieces, dealt with. We have a lot in common, my new pal and I. 
like a complicated relationship with death. But the demons he's running away from are wearing me down. Leave no loose ends, my friend, or I'll lend you myself. Oh, well, I mean, <laughs> I, I'm not trying to be a loose end. I'm just undead. Thanks for bringing us back after Dicey Fall, though, I guess. Well, well, the Sleeping Beauty finally woke up. Did your highness rest well? Should I bring a coffee and warm slippers? Uh, I don't know. What happened? Where am I? Don't tell me you're an amnesiac now. Last thing I need is having to recount you our trip from the swamps in its entirety. Especially not after I barely put you back together. Long story short, we're fucked. Because I fell down the mountain? We were almost there, on my old hunting grounds, but suddenly I hear a noise as if half of the mountain just collapsed. And then you're gone, and I see this big old hole in the ground where you stood. So yeah, you fell down and... no other way around it. Died. Damn, well... I mean... Thanks for bringing me back. I know perfectly well how it feels to be stranded in the void between worlds. And then there's the matter of a debt I haven't repaid you. I still owe you, so I drag your sorry ass here and put you back together. And sure, maybe a bone sticks out here and there, but those are the details. My head is killing me, what did you do? This and that. There's no time to yap about it now. Let's just say I did my fair share of rituals. What's important is that I don't have to put you back together again every time you stumble. Okay. I admit it reluctantly, but we need a totem of souls. Either we summon it here, or our future doesn't look so bright. We need to build an altar and infuse it with power. How the hell am I gonna do that? A long time ago, I hit a small artifact in a nearby cache. It can help us on the way. Now go fetch it, and let me think in peace. Fine. I need to find the way of the spirit. What the fuck? Painting cutthroat. A rusty knife with a strange, barely legible name carved into the wooden handle. It glows red from time to time, becoming almost ethereal. Huh. Maybe I should have just left that there. Okay, well we're not back in the desert area. Hey, do you have a map? I can't remember the last time I saw a civilized land. Let alone one not in a state of decay. I'm beginning to wonder if there is even a world beyond the barren lands. This could just be purgatory, you know, like we're trapped here. For the rest of time. Oh, fuck! No! Oh, wait, is this just a buffalo rifle? This repeating high-caliber rifle is a unique work of an unknown master gunsmith. It's dotted with strange rust stains. No amount of scraping and scrubbing can remove it, just like the disturbing symbols that adorn this weapon. The mere fact of holding this weapon in your hand makes it feel like it's stretching out towards your dark tentacles. Or, oh, sorry. Like it's stretching out towards you, dark tentacles from beyond the edge of your vision. Ready to penetrate your brain and take over. 10% chance that a normal hit will turn into a critical hit. Reduces weapon sway when aiming by 50%. Headshot damage increased by 25%. And it does 155 damage. Now this... Is... I'm fairly certain... An upgraded buffalo rifle? The reason I'm so sad is because... It costs 18,000? 
and I just spent like 6,000 for a hat that I may never fucking use. Shit, I really didn't expect them to like, go that far in the direction of like, upping our cost for an item. This is nice to see though! New Dawn Tincture! A bottle full of strong alcohol mixed with unknown herbs and spices. Drinking it will have a cleansing effect, and once you come around after imbibing it, or imbuing it, you'll feel like a new man. Some people drink to forget. Others try to find their broken dreams at the bottom of a bottle. No matter the reason, they always believe that one more bottle will help solve the issues of the past. Use it to reset all skill points. Nice. I feel like that should have been something that was available in the other chapters. But I'll take it in, in chapter three. And I guess that's really all I care about for now. Um, I'll buy some long caliber ammo just in case. I also need to move out the map I don't need. But bam. All right. Let's stash some of these items again. We're back to our favorites. I will put the hat over here as well. <laughs> so that I remember whenever I need it, or I need to pull out the revolver, also equip the hat. Equip the hat and then like probably unequip the Deathstalker heart. Those seem like that would be a good combo. Then I just headshot and get my health back over and over again. Alright. Yeah, I guess we really don't have to go too far. And there's a safe zone all the way over here. The Doctor's Cave. Huh. I wonder if that's the doctor that was mentioned in Chapter 2. I guess he survived his house burning now. Alright, for now... Before we do this chapter, we're gonna take a little bit of a break. <laughs> 